Hello friends and welcome back I am Faraz and in today's video we will learn how to install Windows 11 on an Apple silicon chip. So this is an M1 Pro chip right now what I have and it's in 16 GB memory and let's dive in and see how to install the Windows. In order to run Windows 11 on Mac on Apple silicon chip you would need a virtual machine. There are other virtual machines which are available in the market but the one which I trust the most is the Parallel. I've been myself using Parallel since 2012 and I have never faced any compatibility issues running with Mac and Windows. By the way the Parallel is also giving you a free download trial for 14 days and then you can purchase it. You can click on buy now and here you have two options if you are upgrading it from the previous version you can just click on upgrade and there's a different price. And let's go and look for the new licenses and one which i would recommend you to go with the pro edition because that gives an awesome support from the technical team now let's go and log into your account once you are here you can just click on product files and then you can click on parallel desktop 17 for mac image and you can just download and follow the screen instruction to set up it on your mac once you're done with installation of Parallels Desktop on your Mac, just simply press Command and Space and let's go and type Parallels Desktop. Just open the Parallels Desktop and you will land on this installation assistant. Now before we go ahead and start installing Windows, I would just like to tell you something. I'll be just skipping this. Okay, now once you land up over here on this assistant, you have two options over here to get the Windows from Microsoft. Now once you click this, you don't need to go and register yourself for the Insider Preview program. If you go and click over here, then you need to download the Insider Preview program from the Microsoft website. I have already installed the Windows 11 from this setup page and I found that this Windows is not a preview one. Now let me show it to you how can you get the preview copy. So all you need to do is go to Microsoft Windows Insider and once you land up on the Insider page, you can just click on register. So once you registered for the program, let's go and click over here, register, and it will ask you to sign in now. And let me log in with my credentials. Let's click sign in. So once we click on register, you will land up on this page asking you to register for Insider program. And if you click on the flight, you will find that you can install Windows over here. But this Windows is not for the Mac, not for the ARM architecture. What you need to do is go and search for Windows 11 ARM64 download. So the first thing what would come in the results is download Windows Insider Preview for ARM. Just simply click this. And you would be asked to sign in again with your credentials. So just make sure that you sign in again. And it has automatically picked up my sign in and then you can just click on this build so that way you are going to get vhdx file so i have already downloaded this file and this is around like 10.2 gb and there is another file which you would see over here this is an iso file now this one which is there this is an insider preview one and this is the one which i mentioned that when i download it from panels this is around like 4.2 gb now this doesn't show me anywhere that this is an insider one so uh, let me show it to you let me let us go and install the insider preview program now okay so all we need to do is just go and open our panels back again and let me go and select this file continue and it will ask me choose manually so you can just select the file location and it's in my download windows setup and this is the file continue so i'm installing the insider preview right now and we can just click on continue select productivity and we can say insider and create the lies on Microsoft desktop, customize the setting before the installation. Yes, we need to do that. So let's go and create that. And you can see that it says ARM64. Now this is the configuration place where I'll be able to configure my hardware configurations and some softwares. So let's go and change the hard drive space. Now it's by default take 256 GB, but I don't want to 
occupy so much of space on my drive because I'm just doing it for the testing purpose. So 64 GB is sufficient. Let's go and apply, continue and close. And let's click OK. And another setting which I would like to handle is the CPU and the memory. Let's keep it automatically or you can dedicate number of cores and a memory. I would always prefer to keep it as automatic and the option which I always prefer to change is from here uh, the share folders you can keep it none customize also you can just leave it as it is share the my folders yes you can just click the download ones to be available uh, share my iCloud and Dropbox just ignore this and that's it this is a setting which I always handle it whenever I install Palos. so let's go and click on continue now once you start continue it will go and build that vm for insider preview so i'll quickly fast track this and we can see the next step so we have our windows 11 insider preview available and working fine so let me show it to you over here let's go to system let's enlarge this and let's go about and here you can see that this version is a developer version and it's an insider preview. Now, let me close this, uh, the one which is available over here. And let me close this again. Let's go and open our palace. Just right click and go to control center. Now, I'm going to add my another virtual machine, which was the non-insider version. So let me open this. And as you can see, the parallel builds the virtual machine file over here. So this is the one which I'm working. This is a perfect copy. And let's start this one. And this one I have linked it with my email account. So let me open this. Perfect. And let me show it to you more in detail about this. So let me go and change account settings. So that would be system and under the system about. Uh, let me show you the side-by-side -side view of both the system settings. So this is a side-by-side -side view of both the virtual machines and my friends, I'm using both of them simultaneously now to together, as you can see over here, and there's no delay response or anything. This works perfectly fine. Now I'm just simply going to shut down one of the machines from here so that we can just talk about what is possible with this machines so this is the non insider preview version which we are seeing it right now and when i click on excel and it works pretty fine there is no problem no lag it's pretty fast and as you can see over here i'll just type formula rand array 10 rows and 20 columns 200 columns and that's bam you know that's super awesome you know and in fact, I tried using Power Automate and Power BI and even that works pretty well on this machine. There was no problem, no lags. And I've been using this machine with a couple of days and experimenting it that how is the performance with the parallels on this machine. So this is pretty nice. And if you want me to test some of the applications and if you're planning to buy M1 and you want to know that whether your application will run on the Mac or not, you can just write me in the comment section and I'll try my best to make sure or reply you whether that application is working or not. So that was my biggest pain point. I didn't came to know from anywhere that whether Power BI is working or the Power Automate is working. After purchasing it, I tried it out and it's working. So if you have similar questions, then you can drop me in the comment section. I'll be very happy to help you out on that. So that's all for today, my friends. So I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you find it informative. And do let me know in the comment section your thought. And I'll be seeing you soon in my next video. Till then, take care. Happy learning. Bye.